Now then, it's that time of year when we can ask, have you ever wondered about the meaning behind some of our most popular carols? Well, just in time for Christmas, we thought we would send the aptly named Carol Hines <laughs> to find out. This carol originates from the 16th century when wealthy people would give treats, like figgy pudding, to carolers as they sang on Christmas Eve. Well, apart from the obvious that figgy pudding's got lots of figs in it, is there a big difference between the ingredients used in a figgy pudding and a Christmas pudding? Not a lot, no. As you see, the figgy pudding is paler and it starts off as more of a batter mixture. And I noticed you're stirring in a particular direction. Why are you doing that? I'm stirring anti-clockwise, and that's to remind us of the journey that the wise men took towards the stable. And a special day for making your Christmas pudding as well. Yes, it became known as Stir Up Sunday, and they even had a special church service to remind you to make your puddings. And do we know now why it is that we eat Christmas pudding and not the figgy pudding that we sing about? I really don't know. It seems to have fallen out of favour, doesn't it? Because it's very difficult to find nowadays, although there are some recipes on the internet, so perhaps we should all be making figgy pudding and trying it. <laughs> Do you know, I sung in a choir and we used to sing that song and I had no idea why we wanted figgy pudding. Every day's a school day. <laughs> Wasn't that fascinating? Stir up Sunday, never heard of that. We have that at home sometimes.